Hi, I'm Roxana from VP State, and in this video I will show how to import the solo demo. We have two demos created for a single listing, and in this video you will see how to import the second version of the solo demo. On this domain I have installed the theme and all the theme included plugins. To be able to import a demo I will need to activate my theme. Here I will need to add my license code. I will click check license. Now my theme is activated. The theme supports SVG icons for features and amenities and for the demo SVG icons to be imported along with the demo content you will need to install the SVG support plugin before the demo import. To do that you will need to go to plugins, click add new, look for the SVG support plugin, this is the one that you need to install, click install now and activate the plugin. These are the steps that you need to take before the demo import. Next I will proceed with the solo demo import. For that I will go to VP Rentals options, import a demo. In this section you will have all theme available demos. You can install one demo at once if you change your mind and you will need a different demo. We recommend to clear database and after import the new demo. I will look for the solo demo, this is the one, I will click import demo, continue and import and I will wait for the demo content to be imported, the process might take a few minutes. The demo was imported successfully, next I will show the steps that you need to take after the demo import. First I will go to settings permalinks, I will set permalinks to post name and save changes. Next I will go to VP Rentals options, I will start with the general section. Here you will need to replace the demo settings with your own, you will need to check each section and add your details. In general section you can change your country, you can upload your own logos, you can make settings for bookings and make other settings. In social and contact, here you will need to replace your contact details and also add social details. In map section you will need to decide on the map system that you want to use. You can keep OpenStreet or select Google Maps, but if Google Maps will be selected then a Google Maps API key will need to be created and added in team options. In listing page you can manage settings for your listing page. You can set the design type and also you have a layout manager available. In design you can make settings for the design of your site, you can make design settings for the listing card, the info box on the map, you can change colors, you can change the main menu design and make other settings. In email management you can make settings for the notifications that will be sent from your site, you can change here the emails content and you can make other settings. In payments and submit you can make settings for the submission form on front end. You can choose the type of submission that you need in your site. You can leave it to be free or set per listing or with membership packages. You can set the booking payment options. Here you can set the deposit fee and the service fee. And in this section you can also set the team payments. You can set PayPal or Stripe or you can enable WooCommerce and use payment add-ons from the WooCommerce plugin. Next in search you can make settings for the advanced search in the site, you can choose the search type and make other settings and in the last section you can enable the SMS service that will work with Tulio. This was just a quick overview. Next I will go to front end. Here you can see that the demo homepage and content was imported and next I will show some quick guidelines on how to manage the sections in home page. Since the home page was created with Elementor I will click edit with Elementor button. I have navigator enabled to have better access to each page section and I will start with the first one. Here we added a section with an image as background and with text. The image can be replaced with your own from the style section. The text was added with the heading widget and you can edit it here and for the second text as well. Next we created a section where we have two images and the booking form. You can replace these two images with your own by selecting 
each column and go into style and for the second also in style you can replace it and in the third column you will have the VP Rentals booking form. Here you will need to replace the demo listing ID with your own for the booking form to work properly. I will show where to take this ID. You will need to go to admin and in listings. This is the ID that needs to be copied in the booking widget. This section is displayed over the previous one and to achieve that we added a negative margin value for the inner row in this section. To change this section position you will need to select inner section and go to advanced. Here you will see this negative value and this is the one that you need to change to change this section position. Going further to the next section, this text was added with the heading widget from Elementor and you can edit it. The next text was added with the same widget and to create this section we used the image box widget from Elementor. You can change the images and the text for each element added. Going further to the next section, here we created a section with an image as background and with text. The text was added with the heading widget from Elementor and it can be edited. The image was added as background image for this row. You can replace it with your own by selecting this row and going to style. Here you can replace the demo image with your own. Going further to the next section, here we created a section with a video and text. The section is displayed over the previous one by adding a negative margin top value. If you want to change this section position, you need to select the inner section and go to advanced. Here you can change this value to change this section position. In the first column of this section we added this image. You can change it from style. Here you can replace the demo image with your own. And over the image we added the VP Rentals video player widget. You can change the icon, change the video location and make other settings. In the second column we added text with the heading widget. And here we added a button. You can change the text the link and make other settings. Going further to the next section, here we created a section for features and amenities. We added the text with the heading widget and here we used and here we added the icons with the icon widget from Elementor and the text with the heading widget. You can replace each icon with your own and also change the text. Going further to the next section, here we created a similar section with the previous one. We added a row with an image as background and with text. The image can be replaced from style. The text can be edited from the heading widget. And for the next section, we added the same negative margin to display it over the previous one. To change, you need to select inner section and go to advanced. This is the value that you need to change. In this section, we added the VP Rentals availability calendar. Here you will need to replace the demo ID with your own. You will need to add your listing page ID. It is the same ID that was added for the booking form. Going further to the next section, here we created a section with text that was added with the heading widget from Elementor. And here we use the icon box widget. Here you can replace the icon and the text added. You will need to do this for each element. Going further to the next section, here we added a similar section with the previous ones. You will have image as background and that can also be changed from style text. We also added this section with a blog post that is displayed over the previous one. To change position you will also need to select the inner section and go to advanced. The blog posts were added with the VP Rentals featured article widget. Here you will need to replace the demo ID with the IDs of the blog posts that you want to display in this section. I will show where you can find the blog posts IDs. You will need to go to admin, go to posts, 
and this is the ID that needs to be copied in the VP Rentals featured article widget. Going back to the home page, in the next section we created client testimonial section. We added text and to display the testimonials we used the VP Rentals testimonial widget. You'll have the option to change client name, image and text. You can do this for each element added in this section. Going further to the next section, you'll have a contact section. Here we added the contact details using the heading widget. You can replace the demo details with your own. And in the second column, we added a contact form that was created with the contact form builder. Here you'll have the option to change the contact form fields and make other settings. The last section in the page is this blue section. You can change this color by going to style and here under color you can change the color and add the one that you want. This wraps our video. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.